What's up guys, my name is BlueEnderman22 and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. And today we're going to be making some vertical half slabs or stairs and there's also another large range of tricks you can do with this glitch similarly. I will show you a few of them and to start off with I'm going to show you how this glitch works. It is just basically a piston with a button or you can use a lever or things like slabs as you can see here on top of it. And once you put some concrete powder on top of that, concrete powder, graphic and light, or I'm um, sorry, concrete powder, sand, gravel, or any other gravity block really on top of it, then it'll all stack up into an entity form and stay that way, so long as it's on top of the piston. Uh, this will stay like this if you leave the world or unload the chunks, uh, but if you do destroy the button on top and do something like that, you can, it'll all unstack, which is also the basis of what is used for bedrock breaking, except instead that uses snow layers instead of things like concrete powder or whatever, but um, similar concept. Um, as I've shown you just before, you can actually put the, use this with slabs, which you may have already noticed, you've got a concrete powder slab, that's already something that's pretty cool by itself. And also, what you can do with this is when it's on top of a slab, you have access to the top half of the block without being out, without having to move this bottom half, which means you can use things like shulker boxes to push it halfway between blocks, or pistons if you need to push it over a whole block. Uh, you can also use things like um, and brick, um, stone walls, sorry, and fences or full blocks to push it over. But that is um, rather difficult when you're there on top of slabs because the entity kind of gets in the way from the sand. Uh, but I do have another method which works decently well with them. I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, this is my other method here. Now I will say this allows you to make some half sl vertical half slabs, stairs, and everything without restraint basically. It allows them, you to know, make them easier. It doesn't need to have the piston with the uh, half block or whatever on top of it. It doesn't need that to be like, if you removed this block beneath it or removed the piston, it'd break the sand, which is the very big restraining part about these half slabs. But this method allows you to not need that. But the big bad part about this one is the fact that when you leave the world, it will destroy the uh, concrete powder, sand, or whatever gravity block you have, and oh, I've conveniently set myself up with a command block to test this one. So as you see, you drop the concrete powder, or sand, or whatever, onto here, and when you push it forward, not only does it push you a bit because of all the entity clues in there, but you'll notice it's not on top of the piston anymore, and it is still in entity form, in which case you can, if I can put a uh, shocker box down, it's a large amount of lag. Um, yeah, stop looking that way. Okay, as you can see, you can actually move this stuff around on the ground freely. It doesn't need to be on top of anything. But as I've said, once you leave the world, this all will return back to this position and, oh, sorry, back to this position where the fence is. And uh, most of it will get broken. The rest will just get turned back into concrete powder blocks. Another interesting thing to note about this is when you pull back the lever, one of them will pop back up there, the rest will be visually down there, and as you break them, more will start popping up there. So a useful way, I guess, to make maybe an unbreakable block, if you just put hundreds of stacks of sand or whatever into there. But um, once again, this does need a button or a slab, preferably a button or a lever for this one, so you don't push the fence when you um, push it forward. Um, that allows you to, like I've said, do things like this, where you can get a half slab, and what you can, um, how you do this is, Basically, you're going to want to get some blocks, put down yourself a shulker box, or you can use a piston and some fences if you like. And once that's a tiny bit over there, you can just then put down a fence, which will snap it into position. Now, what you're going to notice is it's a very um, not solid, this one. That is a uh, part of it, which means you also can't stack them on top of each other. Um, unless you do another method, I will just say once again, this will disappear once you leave the world, like despawn once you leave the world. Um, this, if you wanted permanent half slabs, you're going to have to use, have keep the constant piston underneath it so that it constantly stays like that. Um, but if you want to move them away from it just as a cool trick to show your friends, then this is what you can do. Um, as you see here, you can actually stack them if you use carpets that are stacked on top of each other. Now I have prepared of two blocks here, and if I stop placing shulker boxes like that, and put one down there instead, which allows me to move that forward, and funnily enough it didn't move that all that far forward. Ooh, actually, I've 
almost forgotten. That won't move forward with our shulker box because the carpet is there. I will need to piston a fence into it, like so. And then I will remove that. And what you're going to want to do then is... Oop, lag spike again. Oop, that's odd. Okay. Um, what I'm going to want to do now is put a piston in. Yeah, if you're wondering what that lag is, by the way, I have, like, multiple hundreds of entities stacked up in a single block over there, so you're not supposed to have that many of them at once, because it does cause quite a bit of lag, but I went a bit overkill on one of the other ones, so that's the only reason why there's a lot of lag. And what you're also going to want to do is get yourself a trapdoor, uh, preferably one of the wooden ones, because the iron ones are just annoying to work with for this kind of thing, and you're going to not want to do that, you're going to want to do that. Then once you power this piston here, then you're going to want to remove that piston and drop this block on top, which will then allow you to have that floating there, just free floating. And you're going to want to put a piston there. That took, was more work than it should have been. And then you're going to want to push that in like that, and all of a sudden you've got them stacked. Now I will say again, I know I'm saying this so many times, but I don't want you to forget this will um, not be there when you come leave your world and come back when you're using this method. Um, maybe, the, like, this is very restrained, the way that you can make um, concrete uh, vertical half slabs. Probably because Minecraft um, Mojang does not want us to have them, as you've seen by the fact that they never seem to add them, no matter how much we ask. Um, but yeah, you can also do that by do things like when you put two of them together in a corner, get yourself a vertical staircase like this. So as you can see, it is a very staircase-like shape. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be exactly half a block on each one as well. Using many different blocks, such as walls and whatever, you can expand it out so it's um, in different shapes and sizes, um, or to suit what you want. Um, yeah. There's also cool things you can do, like, just turn away from the audience, like this, where you can have them inside the staircases. Um, I'm not sure if this one works if you put pistons underneath, because when you have a stair and then a piston beneath it, it still breaks the concrete part. I'll have to look into that one. But here is one of the things causing the lag. It's not that bad by itself, but when you have two of them right next to each other, it causes a bit of lag to look at them both. But pretty much what this one does, um, it moves you really far away really fast, and this is a thing that I saw, this is where I learned this trick from by Navy Nexus. He made one, he was making these to transport players really fast. I'll show you that at the end, because it transfers, transports me um, out of the simulation distance, which will cause all of these other things that I've got to break pretty much. Um, well, not all of them actually, most of the ones back there. But I will demonstrate with a little TNT cannon. So. As you've seen, that should launch the TNT, and we can't even actually see where it went. It went that far. Uh, we will be able to see it once I launch myself over there, hopefully. Uh, just a few more notes about cool stuff you can do with this. If you piston a chest into it, it'll pop to the top of the chest. If you are considering on making something like this yourself, like some of these yourself, uh, just a useful tip to have when you're building them. Um, but mainly, this is what you can do with these ones here are permanent, so as you can see they've got the pistons underneath them, and this is the type of thing you can do with them without them despawning when you leave the world. It is limited, but it is still quite useful. Um, could be a decent tunnel design to have it like that, uh, just a strip of blue in the side, um, or a strip, strip of colour in the side. Um, yeah, it is very limited with this type of technology, but it's still useful to have, it's a cool trick to play on your friends, um, especially if you have the ones like these ones where you can just have one floating in the middle of your, like sitting in the middle of your base doing, and it's just like, oh, why is there a random concrete powder block sitting where it shouldn't be, or a random anvil out of place? Or why can't they touch the dragon egg if it's sitting there? It's just a cool thing to know how to do these ones particularly, um, especially since they don't last outside of when you leave the game or unload the chunks. These ones are the more practical use ones. Oh yes, and as I've said, um, as I've shown you here, they do actually expand out this way. If you make that horizontally and put heaps and heaps and heaps of concrete in there, you can kind of launch the concrete, which I will probably... Actually, I can show you that with the TNT cannon one now that I've demonstrated that to you. I can demonstrate that right now. So, ooh, I'm not sure if this will break, actually, if when I remove the... Hang on, just let me... Um, 
stop looking at both of them at once so I get more frames. Okay, if I just pissed in a slab under, hopefully that won't break it. No, it broke it. Okay, well, that one was just a... Con okay, I'll show you how it can transfer a player now. Um, since we've got nothing else to show you in the video, and, um, yep. That went a bit far, and as you've seen, the TNTs are already over here as well. How useful. Oh, is that another TN? No, wait, what? What? What is that? Is that, like... What is that? That's... That's pretty, um, odd. Is that like TNT just before it explodes? That's cool. Okay, I might need to look into what that one there is, but before I go, I will show you another use of them that I hadn't pr um, planned to show you, but I just realized actually works as well. So what you can do is if you build up a little machine like so, button on there as well. Now you're going to need a bit of space to drop your concrete powder in from when I probably didn't need to post this block. Okay. Just a quick command. Okay, load a bunch of concrete powder into there, pretty much falling from max height. Okay, and just wait for this all to fall, and you will see. You can also launch out more than 12 blocks with a piston. Could be useful for something, I'm not quite sure yet, and actually, wow, that goes a lot further than I thought. Oh no, this this actually does go all 250 blocks, doesn't it? Yeah, then it will stop when it hit a wall. Okay, that could be a useful way of building a bridge across an ocean, actually. Just in like launch a bunch of concrete powder across the ocean. Could be useful for building walls. Just stack it all up and launch it. Uh, I might release a tutorial on a wall builder, maybe. Um. Oh, by the way, uh, if you wanted to. Yeah, just, I'll show you this again, so you know how to create the concrete powder blocks that are the special ones. So it's just like this, and then when you pull that back, it'll glitch back into there, or it will destroy itself when you leave the game. Um, yeah, I think that's about all. Um, yep. I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's useful to you. I hope you don't feel too cheated about the fact that half of it was all these things that can be despawned outside the world. And I hope um, you do find some lovely uses for the fact that you can make half slabs. Um, like that. You can also make vertical staircases, I should mention, like this. It's just they do need to be on top of slabs. It's the only limit, really. Um, but yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, um, please leave a like. I know that's probably just white noise to you at this point, after hearing so many other YouTubers say that, and that's not a block that I can stand on. Um, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Have a nice day, and bye!